Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Carlick with Flying and Eating. Today, let's go somewhere and do something. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everyone, it's Adam here. On today's adventure, I'd be pointing to a British flag, but they're all gone. I'm in O'Hare right now. And uh, in this area, there's always been flags from all these sister cities from around the world all the way down there. I was literally here last night and the flags were here. They're all gone, so I can't show you the UK flag. But yes, that's where we're going. We're actually going to London tonight. Uh, not for very long. We'll be there for basically a night, meet up with Mrs. Korlick, uh, and then we're actually going up to her old stomping grounds up in uh, Northampton. And we'll hang around there for a few days and then back down to London and then on to the next adventure. But you'll just have to wait and see what that's all about. So in the meantime, now that we're here, we're here pretty early. We're going to check in, all that fun stuff, and then go to the club lounge and just eat. Because, you know, I need more of that. All right, so this is a much calmer point in the day. Not as much chaos going on. I already checked in. I checked my bag this time. And now we're still going to use the clear lane and go on through through security, no problems whatsoever. Everything's all good, all hunky-dory over here. So we're just gonna go over and kill a lot of time at that big club lounge, because I feel like eating a lot. Because <laughs> there's no there's no special upgrade this time, unless we somehow get miraculously lucky. I'm in coach, and I wanna eat before that so I can just fall asleep on the plane. So or I'll try, I'll try. Time in the lounge is completed. As you can see, ate a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, just noshing and all that, had a nice little dinner. Anyway, it's almost time to board. technically we haven't got the customs and all that but that's pretty nothing here at Heathrow. Um, this time our plane actually parked very near to uh, the exit which is nice because usually that's a pain. The United Club is hidden back there somewhere and it's totally inaccessible which is unfortunate. I will only be able to use it on exit and I'm not flying out of here so anywho. Uh, yeah so now we have to go through customs and all that fun stuff but uh, it's good to be back. It's been a few months. Little pro tip, if you're ever flying through Europe and you have to change planes at London Heathrow, this airport is massive and oddly poorly laid out. And this comes from a guy who comes from Chicago O'Hare. So my point is, if you have a flight here ever and you have to change planes, make sure you give yourself a lot of time. I mean like a lot. Oh, I suppose I should mention what we ate on the plane. I don't know. I slept. <laughs> uh, so the entire dinner, gone. Wasn't there at all. This morning we had this little like egg McMuffin breakfast thing. It was fine, it was whatever, it was nothing, but it was called flying and eating. Just a reminder for when you get here for customs, uh, if you are from any of these countries, part of the European Union, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the United States, and so on, um, Japan, South Korea, Switzerland, uh, then you can use the e-gates. If you are from anyone else, you have to go through normal passport control. As an American, I'm good to go. So after you've kind of gone through the labyrinthy maze that is uh, <laughs> Heathrow uh, from the Terminal 2 section, the Queen's Terminal, you'll eventually reach this point where this is passport control, so you'll see that big sign up there that says, Welcome to the UK border. So we just go through there. Uh, this line would be eligible for me. That took all of two seconds. Much better than the Germans are at this. <laughs> I'll give the British credit. I just stuck my passport in there. Scans my face. Done. Welcome to the UK. Two seconds. All right, guys. So I'm all cleared. Legally, I am within the UK. Now, you don't get a stamp anymore, at least as an American, because, you know, you're just going through an e-gate. Uh, so now I'm here in the baggage claim area. So I have to wait for my bag. Once I have it, I go out this door in the nothing to declare area. This is the United Arrivals Lounge here at Heathrow. I showed you guys this once. Unfortunately, I can't use it this time because this is only eligible for Polaris, and I wasn't in Polaris. Even as a club member, I can't go in there, which sucks. But, oh well, if you are ever here uh, and you do fly Polaris, you come out of Customs right here. This is a, a United Club Lounge that will let you take a shower. Very valuable. So I've been kind of chilling here at this Cafe Nero uh, at Heathrow for a couple of hours now. Mrs. Korlick is about to land, so as soon as she does, I can get up out of here and go find her and head out to the hotel, where I will sleep. It will be glorious. Mrs. Korlick has landed. She's actually just on the other side of this door, uh, baggage claim. So I just gotta wait for her to come through. Yay! I see you. Hi, baby. Hi. 
thing. So we've got Burger King Whopper flavored Doritos, which is cool, but unfortunately a burger is not included. You got skips? What are skips? They're these, why don't we not describe them? They're like these shells, and then you can put them on your tongue and it melts and it's amazing. All right, well, homegirl recommends it. Good morning. It is day three here, technically back in the UK, obviously. We are now back at Heathrow. The, the missus is over there doing the missus things. Uh, and uh, we stopped at this place called Black Sheep Coffee. I'm going to get something called a Norwegian waffle before we take the bus and head on up to Northampton. Never been to Norway, but the Norwegian waffle or the approximation of it was pretty good. Hopefully we get to go there one day and enjoy the real thing. Little pro tip, by the way, if you ever are out here and you need to take the train or the bus system at Heathrow, good luck to you. It is horribly painful and confusing. So just constantly ask people and give yourself infinitely more time than you think you're ever realistically going to need, because it turns out you will actually need it. We're on the bus now. So how long's our ride? Uh, two hours and 15 minutes. All right, so British time scale. Not American time scale, we would have got there already. <laughs> so we've officially arrived in Northampton, as you can see, and uh, we'll give you more uh, city center like stuff later, but the point is we're here. Hello. Hello, Governor. I like that there's a place called Pound Stretcher. Yes, there is. It's like another version of the. Yeah, Pound Land, yeah, I get it. It's just funny when you translate it to pound as a form of weight. Yes. It does have savers. Savers? Okay. Yeah, savers is good, although not the same chain. Well, maybe it is. Savers in the U.S. and Canada especially is like a Goodwill. Charity shop. Is that what it is? Uh, no. Okay, so that's like a drugstore. Right back. Right, okay, so that's not the same chain. Just the same name. Babe, check it out. It's Jedi's. It's got shrimp. All right, that place gets a bonus just for its name. Little observation here, because they don't get too many Americans, I guess, up here in Northampton. So a couple of times I've spoken. Everybody's like <laughs> super nice to me so far. And most people are just like, why are you here? <laughs> I'm like, bash. So I'm guessing this is like downtown Northampton, because this looks like a fancy central type of area to a city, right? Sure? All right, I guess we'll just go with that. This is our official endorsement slash uh, knowledge. Oh, CEX, we're gonna go there at some point. They got video games. And look, babe, there's McDonald's. Actually, have you ever been to German Donor Kebab? I actually went to this chain once in Canada. It's actually pretty good. Not bad. There's a quick look at downtown Northampton. Good evening, everybody. I want Indian food. And luckily for me, across the street are the two most highly recommended Indian places in this town. So we're starting off with Delhi Hut. We will see how this goes. If you guys know me, you know that Indian food is one of my favorites, especially in the UK. They are unbelievable at it. So this is what I ended up with. Ultimately, the veg samosa was probably the best part. The rice was good, and then mixed it with this like paneer. It was fine. It was a good curry. It just wasn't like the best. Uh, I've never. It was. I've had better British Indian food. Let's put it that way. But we're gonna continue. There's gonna be more British Indian food for sure. So tonight we're going here to Balti Central, the other Indian restaurant nearby. As you can see, it's not open at the moment, but it will be. This one was by far the winner. They had this really cool like chicken masala rice, as well as uh, a paneer masala that went with it. It was fantastic. On top of that, we got two types of naan, and they were huge, extremely generous portions. One was honey naan, one was cheese naan. This place was really good. Definitely the best Indian food on this trip so far. Good morning. It's day who knows, because we've kind of not been filming that much because it's been off doing our own thing. And it's also the afternoon. Yeah, that too. We have not been sleeping too well. Anyway, all is fine. <laughs> We're going to go over to some sort of Caribbean place called Turtle Bay, right? Yeah, yeah it's going to be food time. I'm going to get food. This is a precursor to when we inevitably go to the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. You see how this works here? It'd be perfect. I'll be on one island, she'll be on the other. We'll wave at each other. It's going to be a whole thing. And we'll have Caribbean food. But right now, this is just a setup to it, right? Right? We Good plan? Oh, we have to walk across the street. Sorry, dear. Please don't yell at me. So, babe, uh, what happened here? It looks like you got some drinks happening. Yeah, I decided to get the one and get one for you on the strawberry decorations. Good choice. Hopefully, you enjoy that. I will. So, what's the consensus on the drink? <laughs> Food has arrived. She got some sort of Caribbean chicken, right? 
jerk chicken salad, and I got the jackfruit bowl like salad. And the strangest part is, you didn't make me do this. I did this voluntarily. What have you done to me? So we just came out of Turtle Bay. My salad was pretty good. There were a couple like components that I was like not on board with. I don't know, slimy green thing. I tried it. It's, I was willing to try it, but it, yeah, exactly. But it wasn't that good, so I left that alone. Other area, there was one part that was just like, no, it was like vinegar vegetables. It was, yeah, but I had that kind of thing as well, didn't I? I don't it's know. Like some bits and bobs that I didn't like. Yes, bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Yeah. These things. Yeah, just, like... just, just let me talk. Anyway, so yeah, there was stuff on mine that I really didn't like either. That's what kind of ended up leaving like half of it. But. Yeah, overall, I liked it just fine. It was, you know, the parts, there was nothing that unique about it. It was ultimately, it was like a salad, you know, whatever. It was fine. It was good. It was fine. Uh, how were the drinks? That was more of the what they get I you in there I was actually really good. I only okay. had one and a half. She was good in the sense that she didn't completely consume them all, is what you're saying. Yes. Yes. Why have you got to put it so, uh, whatever. <laughs> So I'm standing outside of a CEX and uh, saw some oddity here, an Atari Jaguar. I don't even think the Jaguar came out in the UK. I'm pretty sure it's an American one and the tag is very faded. We have our buses. There's a place called Casper's. We had uh, some takeaway from there to go. Uh, that's a really good dessert chain. Uh, all they do is desserts. Uh, we had like, you know, like waffles and cookie dough and uh, you know, biscuits and ice creams and sundaes. Yeah, that place is pretty good. And then along here, I've never seen Sam's with some sort of America chicken, KFC, Taco Bell, McDonald's, who cares? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a better shot off here of Casper's. But this is, oh, look at that little Schwarzenegger deal thing happening there. But yeah, this would just be essentially downtown Northampton. But there's Casper's Desserts. This place, I don't know if it's a chain or not. I think it is. This I can recommend. This was, I mean, you'll go obese, you'll die, but <laughs> it's good. What a way to go. Show you a little bit more of scenery here of Northampton. Uh, I would describe Northampton, babe, wouldn't you, as a town you could probably do in a day? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> well, there you go. Not from the local, but the sort of local. The you... sort of local that doesn't like it here at all. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I got nothing against Northampton, but to, I don't. I, I don't, because to me it's just, hey look, Breton. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is not windier, otherwise I'd love to show everybody your flag, or part of your flag. Oh wait, that's not, that's a statue. <laughs> so down here we have more architecture. It's all kind of the same thing, to be honest. And you have the normal chains that I'm sure a lot of you are used to. And of course, because stereotype, we have the red telephone booths, which I think I said this in my London episode. I feel like they only keep these around because every, all the tourists expect to see them and they're iconic. I don't, they rarely ever seem to actually work. But uh, yeah, again, those are statues. Otherwise, I would have embarrassed myself earlier like I did. But then we have real ones and it's just not windy because I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Although the sun is out, which is only allowed in uh, the UK for about three days a year. So I will say one thing about this town. At least it's super easy to navigate. Uh -huh. It's not exactly grids, but it's a series of essentially straight lines, which it sounds like a grid, but then they start weaving for no reason. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Point is, it's not really hard to memorize the layout of this place. So we've continued up the main street here. You dropped the hotel key, and there was Shrek the Musical advertisements. That's actually cool. I'm sad we can't really go see that. That'd be cool. But I wanted to point this out to everybody. I've said this in the past. This is a chain called Costa. This is kind of a Starbucks competitor. I think it was created in the UK originally. This is now owned by Coca-Cola. But if you're ever out here and you want a cup of coffee or whatever, this is an alternative. Although most of the locals will scoff at you and actually tell you to go to Starbucks instead, which is ironic as hell. So I don't know if you guys remember this from my Frankfurt episode, but this ice cream logo I'm sure you guys recognize it the name of it changes in every single country for some reason so I get the Burger King cross promotion with flame whopper grill grill flame grilled whopper flavor whatever what is with the pizza ones somehow being associated with Burger King Britain explain it to me good afternoon actually surprise you don't usually say it that way I have no idea what day it is uh, in the trip but uh, it doesn't really matter we're no longer in uh, Northampton we made our way down to London because we're gonna be heading out so we're gonna give you kind of a little micro day here uh, and she's excited I'm gonna go off and wander around a mall and we'll see what I find but wait a minute you have a specific objective what was it again I want to get a Sephora now what's special about Sephora because I'm a man and I don't know this stuff well, it sells makeup, skincare, all that kind of stuff, which obviously I like. <laughs> is there something special about this one? I don't know, is there? How do I know? I no, it's, it's just massive and it's in London. <laughs> Perfect. 
Go get yourself in debt, girl. This is uh, British fine art depicting when rabbits and dogs defeated the evil that is the rhinoceros. Good boys, good boys. In this absolute hell on earth for every single man ever, we have found respite, an oasis, and now I will spend my eternity there. I've decided to wedge myself behind a plant inside of Sephora, that for I am safe and away from all the madness. The security guy walked by, looked at me, gave me the look of, I get that look, dude. I get that look. I would hide with you if I could, but I gotta work here. Fortunately, I don't. Just saw a guy like me being dragged around by his girlfriend, and he looked at me, and I looked at him. We didn't say anything, but the look on his face was, please take me with you. Sorry. There's only a lifeboat for this one. You know you're being filmed, right? After the whole Sephora thing, we ended up going into central London to see uh, the Tower of London, as well as what I kept referring to as London Bridge, which it is not. It is actually Tower Bridge, and I wish to apologize to the entire British culture because I accidentally referred to it as that for the rest of the footage. Ow. I'm Lord British Percy. To the disgustingly offensive yank, on behalf of His Majesty, I, as a representative of the British people, pardon you for your gross offence to our culture. Sega Pluto missed out on seeing the uh, London Bridge before, so unlike London Bridge, the Sega Pluto is not falling down because that would be destructive. Haha, ha, terrible jokes. This is what you're here for, right everybody? Terrible. Both of my girlfriends are here. According to the internet, I date the Sega Pluto. That's not true. I you're, date you. You're more careful with this thing than with me. That is probably accurate. But we've got the Tower of London back there, so it all works out. <laughs> So, a little bit of tourism. We are at the Tower of London, as well as London Bridge. London Bridge was easy enough, you can see it from a distance. Tower of London, kind of a shit show. So we're now at the Tower of London with my love, as well as my side piece. Um, and the Tower of London, I don't know the extensive history of it. I know it was like built like over almost a thousand years ago. And it's still this like iconic structure that's chilling out here. And you can't really see the uh, London Bridge, but it's over there. But uh, I'll show you B-roll of it. I'm in trouble, aren't I? That's a yes. You're going to get beheaded. Oh, perfect. Didn't that happen a lot here? Yeah, like, you know, you just go in and just request one. Just, Not a just, problem. Just whatever you do, don't hurt my girlfriend. So you are British, so you know a lot about this. What's yes. the deal with the Tower of London? So this is actually built by William the Conqueror in 1066. And primarily it was used to, well, as most people know, behead, execute, torture people. One of the more prominent figures that's mostly known about this is Anne Boleyn, who was actually beheaded inside those walls, which I honestly find kind of cool being so close to history. But you also find the crown jewels are in there, but you're not allowed to take any photos of them for some weird reason. I don't know why. But, yeah, that's like the basic thing about Tower of London, mostly used to execute and torture poor people. Plus, so. I think you can climb it in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you so, can. video games. Yeah. So, it all comes full circle. So, we uh, are doing the dinner thing now. We're at a place called Papa. See how open to get. She found it. I did. Uh, it looks pretty nice. It's very open and airy, and it's right next to the Tower of London. And the London Bridge. Yes, and the London Bridge. So, this is our last meal before the next one. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, but and where is the next one going to be? Uh, Amsterdam, except for all the stuff we eat tomorrow before we go to Amsterdam. So it's snacks and warmest. Right, so spoilers, we're going to Amsterdam, but we'll let you know how this place worked out first. Okay, our food has arrived. Uh, I got a Kappa burger, which looks really good. I got the pickles removed because they're evil. We got some fries. You got, what is this thing called? It's a uh, club chicken Caesar. No, what's the, the, the word for this construct? It's a salad. Oh, right, the thing you keep trying to make me do. Right. Ha <laughs> Sharad, you are. Babe, what happened here? I got myself a sticky toffee pudding. Stiff, sticky toffee pudding. No, not stiff, sticky. Sticky. Oh, yeah. Sticky toffee pudding. Yes. And it looks like it has a brownie? Uh, that's, that's not a brownie. That's a sticky toffee bit. That's honeycomb. That's vanilla ice cream. So we just came out of the restaurant. I had that big Kappa burger. That was pretty good. 
Uh, did you like your salad? I did. She did. She kind of devoured the salad. The dessert was a little bit of a surprise. I liked it. I only had a bite of it or so. Yeah. But you really crushed it. Um, this place is obviously super touristy given its location. It is next to the River Thames. It is next to Tower of London. Obviously, the uh, bridge. Yeah, that's the one. Famous one, Peter Pan and all that. Right? You did yeah. something over there. They hung out. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, so, it, touristy as hell location. Tons and tons and tons of people. But uh, the food is actually pretty decent. A little expensive, but you just kind of understand that going in. So, we're about to leave the area. Tower of London is, of course, right over there behind us. We promise you at some point in the future, we'll come back and actually like do the tour. And No, I promise because I really want to do it. So, I'm going to make you do it anyway. Yes, dear. And that'll do it for part one. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys could do me a favor and stay tuned for part two in which we explore Amsterdam and see all that we can see. Uh, there will also be a part three of this in which we go down to Belgium, but more about that when we get there. Yeah, Amsterdam's a lot of fun. I'm sure you guys will have a good time. But in the meantime, do me a favor. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you've never done that before, as well as check out all my social media stuff in the description. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, Patreon, etc. I also have my girlfriend's social media stuff, which will be linked in the description, so support her. So thank you again. Like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys and I'll see you all later.